Hi all, this is Skate and welcome to my update 3.10 video. Now the first three things I want to show you are the new camos which we can get. This one is festive fireworks and I really don't like it. That's not camouflage. Every time Wargaming say to me, oh we have new camouflages coming in, I can't help but get excited because I like camo. But then we get this. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's not camouflage. Sorry, that's... <laughs> you might as well put Ronald McDonald smack bang in the middle of a war zone. Nobody's going to notice him. He's camouflaged in bright colours. <laughs> I know it's a game. I just don't like the camouflage. I would like to see some more authentic camouflages. The next camo we have is to celebrate tank fest. So it's basically lots of little tanks all over the tank. Now it's not camouflage, it's just quirky patterns. I kind of sound like I'm hating on this quite a bit, and I'm not. I just want some decent camouflages. I mean, Tankfest one, I want to pick it up just because it's Tankfest, but it'd be nice for Tankfest camo, considering it's Tankfest, to be authentic as well. But nonetheless, it's not. It's not a bad camo, but I think it's targeting younger generations of players who play the game. Uh, there's one more camo then as well, with a highly original name, <laughs> Effective Concealment. Now this one I quite like. It has got a bit of a graffiti style, I don't know. It's got a bit of a graffiti style to it, there we go. But I quite like it. It's a damn sight better than the Ronald McDonald mobile we had on the first one. But yeah, we have three new camos in the game, guys. Um, obviously, these ones are going to be rare camos, so they are going to cost gold. Um, but obviously, once you've fitted them to the tank, you'll never need to pay for camo again. So I usually would say, if you're going to fit this, fit it to premium tanks, because it'll help increase the uh, amount of money you're making, because you're not spending as much then per game on camo. But I do just want to say, if there are any Wargaming staff who are by any chance coming across this video, please can we have some more authentic camouflage um genuine real camouflages which were painted on tanks or just more realistic looking ones like this oh that's a nice looking tank or this one or this one is another example or this one <laughs> i think you can see my point i like real camouflages actually i'm intrigued I don't usually do any sort of voting thing with my videos, so I think I might with this video. So here's what I'm going to do. Be I'm only one player at the end of the day, I'm only one voice, uh, I'm just one person, just like every other player. We all have our different opinions, we all have different perspectives, and we all like different things. So me saying I would like to see more historic or more accurate or more genuine looking real camos is irrelevant. It matters what the vast majority think, but I don't know whether the vast majority prefer this sort of camo or would like to see some more historics. So for my own information, because I am intrigued on this topic, I am going to pin a comment below this video saying, would you like to see more accurate or historic camos? Give it a thumbs up if you do, give it a thumbs down if you don't. Give it a couple of days and we'll be able to get a good indication of what people think. Um, like I said, this is for me more than anything, so I do appreciate you clicking it. But I'm genuinely intrigued as to what people will pick or what people would like to see. Okay, camo's out of the way. I will shut up on that topic now. Spare parts. This is what everybody is going to be very, very happy to hear. Spare parts are changing. You are no longer going to need to ration your spare parts. As it stands, I treat my spare parts like they are unicorn droppings. You just don't want to spend them on something unless it's something you really, really enjoy playing and you play very regularly. But that thankfully, and I do really mean that, it is thankfully going to change as of 3.10. So what we're going to do is run through some statistics and I have in front of me a list of what different things you can get from the battles. And when I say different things, what I'm saying is you will now get spare parts 
based on what medals you earn in a battle. Now there are a lot of medals, so I can't run through every single one. So I'm going to give some main ones as examples, starting with the mastery badges, which I've got to say, this is amazing in comparison, <laughs> it's amazing in comparison to what it was. Okay, so if you get a mastery badge in tier one, you are getting 100 spare parts. If you get a mastery in tier 10, you are getting a thousand spare parts. Now these figures are fantastic compared to what we previously were getting. Where it starts to fall a little bit short is the gap between the mastery and first class. The amount of spare parts you get between those two. That I don't think is correct. I mean a first class will get you a hundred spare parts, yet a mastery will give you a thousand. But yeah, if you compare that now to the tier 10, second and third, you get 80 or 90. That's one hell of a gap from first class to mastery. But I'm not going to complain. I am actually over the moon with this change. Because it's not just these mastery badges, of course. It's every other medal, pretty much. There are one or two exceptions which aren't included. But pretty much every medal you can get, you can get spare parts for achieving. So I like this because it actually bases it on your performance in the game. So next to that we have other medals like Steel Wall, which are fairly easy to get hold of. So basically whatever tier you're playing at, if you play a tier 1 you get yourself a Steel Wall, you get 10 spare parts. If you're playing tier 10 you get a Steel Wall, you get 100 spare parts. And this is the same for when you get a Top Gun, um, Camper Medal, <laughs> Defender Medal. Um, Rasenai is in here, actually. That shouldn't be there. Um, I'm not sure if this is an error, but Rasenai is actually only coming up as getting the same figures as that. Which is wrong, because that should be in the Epic Medals. Uh, Kamikaze Medal, though, Invincible, uh, Steel Wall, Raider, uh, basically all the generic medals which you can get hold of. These aren't the ones that people want to know about, though. Everyone else wants to know about things like the, uh, the Fadin's Medal, the Kolobanov's Medal, the Nikolai's Medal. And the Radley Walters is, is in this list, yet the Rasenai isn't. So I'm going to assume Wargaming have made a mistake by putting the Rasenai in the other box. But all of these will get you a huge amount of spare parts. And these are in line with the Mastery Badge. So a lovely... Th Kolobanovs, which are fairly easy to actually get hold of now with the Supremacy. Um, you get a thousand if you get that in tier 10. Or if you get it in tier 7, you'll get 600 spare parts. These will rack up considerably quicker than what they did when it was random previously. And that's not the best part. The best part is these are stackable. You got yourself a Kolobanovs, Radley Walters, and a Mastery. You're going to get 3,000 spare parts for that one battle. Now granted, you're not always going to end up getting these medals in battle. But you'll get all the other ones, all the little ones, very often. And you're going to get spare parts for all of them as well. Now I'm not saying this system is perfect, but it is one damn sight better than the previous of giving it out at random. That was ridiculous. So Wargaming have heard us in terms of spare parts and this is one big old step in the right direction and hopefully after another patch they'll be able to review it and say actually we need to give more for these but let's see how it pans out for us you never know this could actually be very very profitable in terms of spare parts now um the only way to try well the only way to find out is for us to try it either way it's a massive step in the right direction and I don't have to treat my spare parts like they are unicorn poop and like I don't know when I'm going to see my next batch to be able to get my next equipment. So hopefully this is going to be very, very good. I genuinely can't wait to try it and find out. Um, I'm going to stop the video at this point. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.